So, Daily Talk. Hello, this is Mo. Uh, today we're going to talk about Daily Talk. Daily Talk is maybe one of the most important parts of any English class, right? Because it just increases the vocabulary and the fluency of your students. Um, it, 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 it's very different from just learning vocab like uh, cat, uh, kitchen, dog, whatever. It is, um, it is more like putting them in life situations. And the better your kids are, bad, are at daily talk, the better your kids are at daily. Um, and the parents would just always think that you are really good because their kids are more fluent in actual conversations, which makes sense. So uh, usually people what they do is, is that they sit in front of the kids and then they start asking them questions like, uh, hello, what's your name, how old are you, so on and so forth. The problem of this is this first is that you are in front of the kids, so it's like you against them. So some kids who are a little bit shy will just, you know, shy away from you. Uh, this is one. And two is that the kids learn to speak out the answers, but they don't learn the questions, which is also uh, really vital, I think. Um, imagine that every time you do the daily talk, you can teach the kids double of any other teacher or in in, in any other situation like I mean like not only do they, do they learn the answers no they only learn the questions and the answers I think it's it's really pretty um, obvious which one would you choose right so what you do is is that you sit in a circle among the kids you get a ball and you pass the ball around and as you pass the ball like say hello 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 uh, what's your name my name is John and John gives the ball to Judy. And he asks Judy, what's your name? And Judy says, my name is Judy. And Judy gives it to Phil. And she says, what's your name? And then Phil says, my name is Phil. And then Phil takes the ball and gives it to me. And he asks, what's your name? And I, ask, I say, my name is Mo. And so the kids, they learn the question and they learn the answer. And they can speak both out. Isn't that amazing, right? And um, the kids, even if the kids are shy, in the circle, they feel safe. And it's really more like a game, passing the ball around. So it's not like standing in front of each other and like, what's your name? Or even with a smile, it's, it's, um, it's really just not the same. Um, it's much better, believe me, you should try it. I have to warn you though, that in the beginning, like the first couple of times, maybe the first few times, you do it, it will be a mess, right? But by time, if you are patient enough, the kids will get the routine, and uh, and they will get it, and they will they will do it, and will actually enjoy it, and they will be very proud when they can ask the question and say the answer at the same time. It's just really amazing. Uh, let's watch how we do daily talk together. This is a an example. Um, see you again. My fellow teachers, I really hope you enjoyed this. Please, please, please like, subscribe, and of course, share. Uh, if you have any ideas or any comments, please just put them below. I will answer any comment that you, well, I'll try to answer all of them. I will not to promise that I will answer all of them, of course. That would not be yeah, totally honest. Thank you. Bye-bye.